Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm sure everybody has done this. Started on something, thought, well, I'm gonna get into that and I'll do that while I'm in there. Well, that has stemmed into a whole lot of stuff. So we minimized that. Um, I was adjusting on the doors, had to take the door panels off. It was a nightmare. So we got the doors adjusted um, and I thought, well, while I'm in, I'll get these window runs replaced. So I've already struggled with the driver's side thought this is going to be something that somebody's probably going to want to watch being done first so if i can help you with that definitely watch me struggle um, with this passenger side one got a couple tricks i'm leaving the glass in it it's probably not the right way to do it so like i said we're just moving moving the brackets around that these runs affix to let's get into this door get the door panel off and we'll get into the guts of the door I always start with the square bodies with the windows down I guess that helps with the, getting the door panel off. Just seems to work out with what I'm doing. Just got a couple different screws. Driver's side had three screws in it. Overall, I think it's supposed to have seven or eight. So that's a trick to Ace. We'll get some nice new stainless hardware for it. It's missing. Thing really needs new door panels. What I understand is you cannot get nice or can't get good fitting repop door panels, so we'll just roll with these until otherwise. A couple on the handle here. Wow. Throw the armrest, right? screw that goes here is going in at this angle. Ay, ay, ay. So the ultimate goal here is to get these out and they run all the way down to about it's about right there in the door and then obviously it runs down the front too so these things are brittle huh. let me see it just kind of breaks out once it gets down in the door it's really really ta a big task to get it out without tearing your hand off so let's get uh, let's get into getting that out of the door, and we'll start setting a new one in there. There's a metal tang that is kind of formed into this. Be careful of that, it will straight cut your hide off. Um, so I think that one was already ripped out with the other piece, but anyways, just worth noting that way you said you don't cut yourself. God, this is going so much easier than the driver's side. Shoot a video of the driver's side, it was a friggin' nightmare. Okay. Here's that little metal piece. Yeah. Other side was a disaster. So, obviously this is just reverse of disassembly. There is a push pin here, goes up in the door here, which I've gotta fish that, that old one out. God, I need a haircut. Haircut lady took a week off. Look who she thinks she is. Okay. 
Okay. So I start and just force this sole metal metal piece back where it goes. Kind of kind of holds everything in place too. I guess that's the tension behind it. Maybe we'll go with that. I'm just shoving this back up in the channel. So, go ahead and clip this in. Okay. You can massage it kind of how you want it, how it sits, perfect or whatever. I'm gonna let the windows kind of sit in the, in the runs overnight. Let it kind of form it out. It's hard to see down in the door, but this bolt holds the runner right here. And what I'll do is I'll loosen that bolt up and it allows the whole channel to go this way and get the glass out of it. And then I can fix this down in it. And then the front is the same way, but while all the glass is shoved back, we'll do the front. Somebody's been inside this door with some spray on white lithium or something. This is disgusting. Probably should be wearing gloves, but we're not. This did help on the driver's side also. Just a piece of aluminum stock. I really don't know its thickness. It doesn't say. However, I use it to kind of feed this down into the channel and then I'll reaching through the door and clip it in. But it does get it started too. white lithium all over everything. It's not that much required. Hard to video this part, but it's going in there. Big enough doors, big enough doors, big enough holes in the square body doors. Here, we've got the channel in all the way down, channel in all the way down. I'm going to force the glass back in its, its runner, and then I'll bolt that other, uh, there's that. I'm going to put this bolt back in. 
God, I wish I'd seen him. He's struggling with the driver's side. Lordy. Good stuff. Just got everything back together. Windows already set up in the run. I've already ran the window up and down. It looks so much better. You have to overlook the junk pile I'm fixing to show you. Got the driver's side here. It's all done. Everything's down in the channels. Everything's snapped in. There are a couple spots that I'm going to kind of eyeball up a little bit. You can see right here it looks a little low. I'm not really sure what that looks like. But anyways, I'm going to fix that. I just want the window to um, sit in the channel, kind of let it all form up. Get all that white lithium off this thing. Well guys, that was a quick crash course into the 73 to 87 GM front door window runs, window felts. Wasn't a bad job, driver's side was probably worth videoing, but we didn't. Anyways, passenger side ideally went how it should. Took half the time. I'm not gonna get into putting the door panels back on because it's just like these window trims, window runs. I'm gonna snowball it into other stuff. I'm gonna put some new door handle, door pulls in it, the rubber that keeps some squares gone. So we'll get that replaced. The wing windows, this one's broken. Um, it whistles like crazy going down the road. Can't buy them complete anymore, so it looks like I'm gonna be going in and rebuilding them. Didn't wanna get into that right now, but I think that's something that we're gonna do. Guys, let me know in the comments if you like this stuff, these little small projects. They're pretty easy to shoot and they're you know, not a bad job. And like I said, if I can make it easier for you guys somehow, that works out for me too. Other than that, guys, I appreciate you watching and we will catch you on the next video. Thanks.